Hello, my name is Saskia Tindall. I'm a ballet teacher and I live and work in Vienna in Austria. Um, I also studied dance science in Bern in, in Switzerland and Wolverhampton in England. I am a member of the TAMED, the Dance Medicine Association, and also the IADAMS, the International Association of Dance Science and Medicine. And I am very pleased and very honoured to have been asked to answer some questions for the 7th Grand Assemblée European Ballet Festival, organised by the Simona Noja Cultural Foundation. So, the questions. What examples of ballet teachers did you have at the beginning of your career? Why do you think they have inspired you? And what did you learn from them? I had many teachers. I had a very, very diverse education and ballet experience, I would say. First of all, Shirley Graham um, for her ease of movement. And then I would say Hope Keelan for her attack. She would come into the room and the whole room was on fire, ready to do the class. Um, Svetlana Beriosifer and Frank Freeman because of the work with the pot de bras. Um, Svetlana was beautiful to watch, as were the others. Um, and Frank Freeman constructed his classes from, um, from the arms, downwards, outwards and upwards, from the arms. The arms initiated every movement, which again actually brought ease of movement. Then later on, I would say um, Peter Apple, I was very lucky to work with Peter Apple. He came from the Balanchine School and this brought a completely new way of thinking for me, um, which was also the case with Renato Peroni de Castro, also from the Balanchine School. Uh, it was a different way of thinking, so this triggered something in my mind. Um, and also um, Renato teaches very much with anatomy as well, so I was getting the, um, the information and seeing almost for the first time what was really the anatomy, what was going on behind the skin in the step um, and what anatomy was needed for the steps. And then another teacher I would say was Ivan Kramer, um, a wonderful ease of movement and easy, easy coordination and use of dynamics. So I would say the, um, the main things that I would take from, from them was ease of movement, energy, pot de bras, thinking and anatomy. What was the best inspiration from your teachers? What exactly influenced you that you have taken for life? Human values, mindset, humanity, specific vision. I would definitely say the thinking um, because this brings um, power. Thinking brings you knowledge, it brings you power, and you become very self-responsible, which you need to be in dance. And I would say ease of movement, because um, for life this also works, letting the the dynamic of your life take you through, as you should with the movement, let the dynamic of the movement, let the natural force of the movement um, create and carry the movement. And this is also very, very helpful for life, I feel. The next question. Which were your most successful moments, achievements of your teaching and the worst moments, situations? Um, I can't put this down to any particular situations, but I do know that my teaching functions successfully when I am totally immersed in the dancers that I'm teaching. Um, if I am immersed in my own self while teaching, for example, I see a reaction of a dancer, I think they don't like the exercise when I might have totally misinterpreted and they are just totally frustrated with themselves, but I see they don't like my exercise. Um, this is when things start to go wrong. I am totally in my own world and not with my dancers. 
So it's definitely teaching is not about me and if I can hang on to that and stay immersed in my dances, then it's successful. Fourth question, what exactly would you need to create an inspiring ballet class for you and all involved? The absolute first answer for me for this is the music. That's why I dance and this totally inspires me for the classes. I would also say um, a very good feeling within the group and with me and the dancers um, having a common goal. This is very inspiring, but this is also I see as my responsibility to create this caring environment, a safe place for the dancers to dance and to learn. Um, that is inspiring. And then a very, very important point for me is behind the scenes, what happens before the class and after the class um, in the way of constant exchange with other teachers and with other artists, musicians, writers, painters, scientists as well. Um, a lot, all this in inspiration um, that comes from without, this is for me what makes then my class um, inspiring. How do you deal with challenging and doubtful moments in your teaching? Stress, disappointment, health issues. I find it hard to deal with things when they're difficult, but what always helps is looking at the bigger picture trying to focus out and away from what is bothering me, what is going wrong, trying to see the real importance in life, which is that we are here. We have one life and we have to make the best of it. So, sixth question, which of your talents do you think to make you unique? I'm a creative person. Um, I think my associative thinking helps me develop um, ideas and images quite fast so that I can present solutions to problems. And I think my English sense of humour, which is quite black, I think this also helps. It keeps things light and, yeah, I think sense of humor always helps. Uh, the seventh question, mention some pieces of advice, suggestions you would give to the colleagues and students. I think it's very hard to give colleagues um, advice because everybody knows so much. But I would say what worked for us as young students and young dancers maybe doesn't work nowadays, some of it. Um, for students and young dancers. Society has changed, um, ways of doing things develop. Um, and I would say that um, for students, what worked for you yesterday might not work today and might not work tomorrow. So I think the key is keeping an open mind. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for being interested and asking me these questions. Thank you.